my mom and my cousin, they told me we we're gonna go on vacation to Italy. So we got on the plane and my cousin who was maybe, she was like um, 17, 18 back then, she was like, you know, we're not coming back. And I was like, what do you mean we're not coming back? Like, I, I didn't really get it, you know? I was like, but I left my Barbie. <laughs> Um, and my mom's like, don't worry, we'll get you lots of Barbies. Um, we're gonna go to America. My name is Dominika and I came here from Warsaw, Poland in 1989. And this is my welcoming story. My uncle was living here and he was the one who sponsored us here. First day of school, I didn't speak English that well. I remember, um, this girl turning around and saying something to me and my thing back then was either just saying no or yes even though I didn't know what they were asking and she she said something and I was like no and then I realized later that she asked me for an eraser and I had one like right there on my table was there first in the English second language class and she helped me a lot the first two three months so one time we we're in class I don't remember what was happening or or but my teacher said something and I said don't put words into my mouth and she made this face so I was like I, I, I'm sorry I'm sorry and she was like no 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 this is great this means that you're learning English that you're getting it and I was like okay well I, I heard it on uh, Three's Company and so that was my favorite show <laughs> I was a pretty shy kid because of, of the teasing and not knowing the English so well I was a pretty shy kid, but in that class, she brought out my personality more and made me not shy. If I saw her again, I would, I would tell her thank you for believing in me and telling me that I will succeed. That I kind of made it. I mean, I think I pretty, you know, made it. <laughs> Um, I went to NYU, I worked in publishing and work. I help other people with their writing and their English and their grammar. <laughs> so who would have thought back then that I would be doing that now? Mm -hmm.